good fruit is hewn down. Every tree old, young, man, woman, every tree, very significant people, tall trees, big trees, ancient trees, it's talking about men, every tree, the size does not matter, the shape does not matter, and the income, substance, does not matter. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is caught now and cast into the fire. But the Lord gives such chance today and he says, if you will repent and turn and have a godly passion in repentance and turn unto the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind tonight, the grace is still available. And the Lord will change you. And the Lord will transform your life. And you will never, never be the same again in Jesus' name. Somebody there is shouting, Amen. Amen. Look at point number three now. Point number three. We're looking at the guided path to recovery through active faith. Guided path to recovery through active faith. You've been going on a road and the road is leading to darkness, darkness, darkness. It's becoming darker and darker and darker. And you're feeling it in your soul. What's the edge of this road that is getting darker and darker and darker? And you don't know any other way. And you're living just like that. All of a sudden, a guide came to show you the way and he said look ahead there's danger in this path you are going the way of the transgressor is hard and it gets harder and harder and harder the way of the one who forsakes God he leaves God behind and is following the path of evil that way that path is going darker and darker and more dangerous but a guide now comes and he says turn around look at that light over there that's the light that you get keep on looking at that light Jesus Christ is the light of the world and as you turn from the path of darkness and then you're looking at that light the Lord Jesus he leads you into the grace of God that brings salvation. He leads you into the goodness of God that brings recovery from sickness. He leads you into the guided path that leads to life eternal. And he comes to you today. He says, I'll take your hand. I'll guide you to the guided path to recovery through active faith. The Lord will guide you. I said the Lord will guide you. Look at this, look at uh, Second Kings chapter 5, reading from verse 1. Now, Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man, a rich man, a successful man, a prosperous man, a man of authority and dignity with his master, and honorable because by him the Lord had given the liberance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. Look at all those qualifications and look at the last part of the sentence. But he was a leper. He was a leper. That spoils everything. The man is rich. The man is wealthy. The man is honorable. The man is great. The man is respected by the world. But he is a sinner. But he is an adulterer. And the husband of those women, they look at him, they say, rich man, authoritative man, but he's messing up with my wife. The man is great. The eyes of the world, but is a leper, is a sinner. Until somebody came to guide him and guided him to the source of cleansing and the source 
of recovery. The guiding light is coming to you tonight. And it will guide you to that place of total salvation and total recovery and total forgiveness in Jesus' name. Eventually, go to the house, uh, near the house of the prophet, and the prophet sent a message to him, like the message you are hearing. At. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, it says, and Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. And look at verse 11. In verse 11, and Naaman was wrath. Naaman was angry. He said, What? I'm a great man. I'm a rich man. I'm a man of position and power. And the man had the gumption, the authority to say to me to go and wash in Jordan. You know, a person who is guided to the place where he would have salvation and he'll have total recovery from the bondage of sin and from the affliction. You know the, your private life, you know the sin, you know the defeat you have in your private life. And now we bring to you, we guide you by the word of the Lord that this is the only way of escape out of the ancient furnace, out of the eternal furnace, and then you see, look at this man, look at this preacher, in the public is mentioning that word adultery. Civilized men don't do that. They don't mention adultery, fornication in the public. Look at this man, my friend. What are you angry about? If you are not an adulterer, you will not be angry. If you are not a fornicator, you will not be angry. I came to show you the way out of your sin, the way out of perishing, and the way out of the ancient furnace where you are. You should be very grateful, but there are people like Naaman, and Naaman was angry, and he went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. I thought. He wanted to be the preacher. I thought he will say this. I thought he will motivate me. I thought he will make me happy. I thought it will be social. And he will bring his hand and rub the hand of me. It's not what you thought. You are not going to dictate how you are going to have. You don't know the way. That's why you are sent the guide to guide you into salvation. And I pray your head will not reject your salvation. And that nothing will make you get angry at the direction, at the guide the Lord is giving you. Look at it now in verse 12. In verse 12, it said, And not a banner, a farpa, rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. My brother, anger will not take the leprosy away. Wrath will not take the leprosy away. Argument will not take the leprosy away. Canal comparison, Abana and Fapa, better than the rivers of Damascus, better than uh, uh, Jordan. All that will not take the leprosy away. And the servants knew that. And the people around him knew that. We all know, we know. All you need to do is come to Christ. Argument, I'm religious. Argument, I have my church. Argument, I've been to Jerusalem. Argument, I've been taking water out of Jordan. Argument, I perform spiritual rites. My friend, argument, anger 
will not take the leprosy of sin away and will not take the guilt, the condemnation of sin away. The Lord is showing you the way. I pray you are calm. I said I pray you are calm. Why are we going to be angry? I came to tell you that, you know, you've been going this way a long time and you've not got the relief you want. And I say, come, I have been to Christ. He's giving me salvation. He's giving me peace of mind. He's giving me the power to go and live in newness of life. And the thing that have been good, available for me, I came to show to you as well. You should be very grateful and get up there and say, show me the way. And I said, this is the way. Walk here, there, and in, and you'll find salvation for your soul in Jesus' name. And so, we're looking at verse 13, and in verse 13, and his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, the prophet, uh, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, uh, like give some great amount of money, like give a piece of land to him, uh, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then uh, when he says to thee, wash and be thou clean? Wash. And without it, that's all he said. What can wash my stain away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can take my guilt away, my condemnation away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All the Lord is sending us to tell you is the blood of Jesus can cleanse you from the stain of sin, can purge you from the guilt and the condemnation of sin. Come and the Lord will forgive you and change your life. That's all we're saying. And he told the man, all the prophet is saying is come, wash and be clean. And then in verse 14, we're told in verse 14, then wait he down. You can be an encouragement to your neighbor there. You can be an encouragement to your wife there. You can be an encouragement to your husband there. You can be an encouragement to the backslider there. You can be an encouragement to somebody there who is saying, what are they saying? Why are they saying it like that? And you can explain to them what the preacher is saying is what God has said in the Bible. That if we're going to have recovery, salvation, forgiveness and the peace of mind and the joy of belonging to the Lord. What he's saying is we need to get up. We need to turn away from our sin and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and he will give us that salvation and redemption and he will pardon us. He will take our name away from the book of the condemned and he will put our name in the book of the converted. And then when you explain like that and your word matches my word and your explanation matches my preaching. They okay, I understand now. And then they come and they give their lives to the Lord, and God will forgive their sin, and God will redeem their soul, and God will turn them in the right direction, and you will write their name in the book of life in heaven, and it can happen tonight. There, there, there. It can happen tonight. Young man there, the Lord is calling you today. And it can happen to you tonight. That all the ways of darkness you forsake. All the powers of darkness you forsake. All the charm that you surround, that you surround yourself with. You throw them away. And you say, Lord, I repent. I come unto the Lord. And the Lord will totally turn your life around. It will forgive you tonight. It will save you tonight. It will transform your life tonight. And he did himself seven times in Jordan according to, according to, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. He was clean. He was Clean, he, he, Naaman, he, the leper, he, the sinner, he, the condemned, he was 
clean tonight you can be cleaner in Jesus name the blood of Jesus will wash you the blood of Jesus will cleanse you and as you get up and turn away from every sin you can remember and you are deeply sorry deeply sorry that you were in such a condition before and now you give yourself or reservedly unto the Lord forgiveness has come tonight salvation has come tonight am I talking to somebody there tonight did you hear what God was telling you are you going to do what the Lord has told you and then forgiveness will come salvation will come the grace of God will come to your life tonight in Jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed the Lord once again in love in mercy in compassion is calling upon you now the great God of heaven is calling you little man little woman is calling you that you'll be guided into the place of forgiveness and salvation. And you're saying, Oh Lord, unmistakably, I've heard your voice today. I'm coming out of that darkness, out of that sin, out of that evil habit, out of that occultism, out of any connection. Of Satan, Lord, today I offer myself and I come out of my evil, and I come into the salvation of the Lord. Wherever you are, the offer is coming again today. Wherever you are, the mercy of God is calling upon you today. Raise up your hands wherever you are. God bless you there. God bless you there. Say, Lord, I come tonight. Raise up your hand and say, Lord, I'll not allow this night to go by to pass me without having this forgiveness and this salvation. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. And as you stand up, you regret all the sins you have committed. You regret that your action pierced the heart and the might of God. You regret your sorrowful that you, by your sin, by your evil, you put a dagger to the loving heart of God and say, Lord, I turn away from everything that brought pain in your heart. Raise up your hand and stand up. What you are standing up, close your eyes. As you close your eyes, imagine all that you have been doing. That place, that thing, that evil, everything. Those are the things that brought sorrow in the heart of the Lord. I'll say, Lord, no more. I'll not go there again. I'll not do that thing again. I turn, I repent, and I come that you'll forgive me. I've come that will save my soul. I come so that I will not die in sin and go to the eternal furnace of fire that burns forever and ever. Tell the Lord. And count on the mercy of God and count on the love of God and count on the goodness of God to forgive as you genuinely repent. As we genuinely turn away from everything that is evil. He'll not reject you. Whosoever, as you repent, shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Saved. Forgiven. And your name written in the book of life in heaven. I'm praying for you now. Raise up that hand while you're standing up. And show the Lord, I key into this. I want this forgiveness and salvation. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
You are a God of love, a God of power. Yet, a God who means what he says. And he says what he means. And therefore, Lord, we know as you have called us to repentance. And these have indicated that they turn away from their sin. And they repent and turn to you for mercy and love and salvation. Lord, I pray, forgive them in Jesus' name. I pray that the blood of the Lamb that was shed for them will cleanse them from every uncleanness and every condemnation, even at this time, in Jesus' name. Everyone here, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over the television, anywhere, we have heard your words together tonight. I pray that this peace of God, with the pardon, will come to every heart right now. And I pray that you take the name out of the book of the condemned and bring the names into the book of the citizens of heaven and put the joy of salvation vision in every heart right now in Jesus name thank you Lord because I know you have answered in Jesus name we pray Amen. God, God, uh, God uh, bless you. Keep on standing. Uh, counselors are there. And the counselors will, you know, ask you for some details of your life and of your name. And they put you put all that down. It will help us to do the follow-up. And then to keep on guiding you in the way that leads to life everlasting. We'll call on our moderating overseer to take over right now. God bless you. You have come to the family of God. This is a memorable day in your life, unforgettable day. Counselors, please, let's quickly, all workers have been discussed in the afternoon. Let's go right into the crowd and then take their names. Please, quickly, quickly, take their details. Quickly. Please don't sit down yet until the counselor has attended to you. Let's spread out by my left and then by my right in the middle. Let's go quickly and be smart about it. God bless you as you do that. Quick, quick. Please give them your right name or the name you are known with in your compound. You have a telephone number. Or your email, please let's fill that in correctly and hand over to the counselor. Please, counselor, we have been told in the afternoon if you can read and write legibly, you are part of the counseling team. Don't let us miss anyone out. Please, if they have not reached to you, you just wave your hand that I'm here. You are very important to heaven. If your eyes can be open tonight, you will see the rejoicing in the street of heaven by the angels. Because hundreds of you have come into the kingdom, not just in this alpha location. Let's do the same in all other locations across the globe. Let's take their details correctly. Let's do that quickly. If you are watching online, and you just gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link rolling by in your prayer. Just click on it. You will see a form, and then you can fill it. This one will assist you or assist us to follow you up and also to help you in your newfound faith. It's very important. Submit it through same process. Also, if you are listening via radio or television, and you just gave your life to Christ, please you can send your name and your phone number and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp message to the number I'm going to read out now. Plus 234 now one five four 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 
0809-2294-9263. I repeat it again. Those on radio or television, you just gave your life to Christ. Please send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp. The number is plus 234 Nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Counselors, please let's be smart about it. None of us should be sitting down now. The choir members and all other workers. This is the essence of this crusade to get people saved and get them into the kingdom of God. Let's do that quickly. There will be a special lunch hour with Jesus that is tomorrow afternoon for all those who give their lives to Jesus. Since we started this program on Thursday, till tonight. Please, we are inviting you not just because of church, but the GCK convener will be happy to see you there. We are talking about going to heaven, not church. Please make time out tomorrow to come by 3 p.m. You will be taught and assisted in your newfound faith. Please be around. Don't say, I belong to this, I belong to that. This is about heaven. This is about Christ. That is the essence of the GCK. Gospel for every creature. So please come by 3 p.m. Before that time you are around. When you come to the compound by my left hand side, as I'm standing on the, on the podium, they will you be directed. There will be convert rally or what we call banquet, across the globe, depending on your time zone. But for us, in Bori, we are going to have it at the Deeper Life Campground in Bori here. The time is 4 p.m. Depending on where you are in the globe, you have to choose a time suitable to you. You may not be able to go a long time with the 4 p.m. of our local time in Nigeria. Please, let's ensure that we're around on the 6th. That's a Sunday for this banquet. It's specially meant for you. And if you also receive miracle during the prayer of our Father and the Lord, please we want to hear your testimony. We want to rejoice with you in our location here as well as other locations across the globe since we are all connected together. Please, you can send it via WhatsApp that is being displayed on your screen or the testimony link on your screen. You can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp or Telegram. Please do that as the meeting is going on. Counselors, I can see some of you coming back. I want you to give me a sign. Let me start by my right hand side. Let somebody come out and come and wave his or her hand that we are through. By my right hand side to the podium. Am I seeing any hand? Are you waving hand there? Please, we are not joking with it, children. If you are a counselor, you are an usher, please, we are finished. The right hand side, please, let's come and wave your hand at me. I'm not seeing any hand. Right at the middle, if, if you are true. Brother, are you waving your hand there? Right, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Now, let's go a little bit. By my left hand side too, see middle. Anyone taking care of that? Let's be fast. 
wave your hand or wave the paper at me if you were through. I'm not seeing any hand. What of my extreme left? Extreme left. Extreme left. Please let me be smart about it. Look at people by the fence and also by the upstairs. There are a lot of people there. Please, if they have not attended to you, do well to raise up your hand as the counselors and the ushers, uh, they are passing by you. Please, I'm seeing some counselors. Don't congregate or just stay in one place. Share yourself all around so that we can do that in a very brief moment. Thank you very much as you are doing so. Let's be fast. We go to the extreme back as well. There are a lot of people over there. If they are not attending to you, once you see them, wave your hand. All right, that brother, are you waving your paper at me, the one in my front? Are you telling me that you are okay? Wave it again if you are true. All right, you are not. Please, let's be fast, let's be fast. Make sure that we don't lose anybody. You must take their details. It's important to us and important to heaven. This is the essence of the GCK. To get so safe, conserved in the kingdom. Let's be smart about it. I'm seeing some choir member coming back. I don't think we have finished the back side. Let me find out again. Extreme right. We are true. Wave at me. You can use your paper. and we, Somebody should be there to tell us. Extreme right to the podium. Can I see your hand? Wave at me. Let's be fast. I'm not seeing any hand. I'm seeing some of you returning back. Does it mean that we have attended to the people at the far back? Please don't return back. Go back. If you have finished your session, go back and help those who are at the far back. Please, let's be smart about it. Right? The, the middle... A little bit to my right. I know you wave at me just now. Can you see wave at me whether you are finished? If you are waving at me, do it properly so that... Thank you very much. I can see this middle. Now to my left side. If we're... All right. God bless you. So left, extreme left, middle. We are okay. We are now contending with the... Uh, this other side by my right hand side. Please, we are waiting for your information. Please, don't move yet. The pastor is still seated. Remember, we said this explosion night. Everybody shout explosion night. You will witness what I'm saying now because the power of God is here tonight. Is going to do beyond your expectation. Right? So please, if you are finished, sit down. Ushers, don't come back. Stay in the midst of the people so that when they receive their miracle, you are the one who will bring them out. Those who are in the wheelchair, stay by them and encourage them. Don't force them up. The power of God will take them up. But encourage them and speak to them. The pastor has prayed. Believe the word. And you will see them stand up. Somebody is deaf and all that. You stay by them. As the pastor pray, encourage them and say, the pastor prayed, you will see miracle today. Please, those by my right hand side, I'm waiting for information. But my, anybody to tell us that we are true by my right hand side, I'm not seeing, seeing any person. As you are seated, be calling upon the name of the Lord that tonight my expectation is great. Remember we said your expectation determines your realization. Expect something great from God tonight. Close your eyes if you are finished. Be praying. Be, let your voice be heard in the court of heaven. Let heaven know that somebody is, is expecting something. I'm waiting for those of us in the right hand side. By my right hand side. Can, 
All right, God bless you. I can see you waving at me. We are now going to rise up. Our Father and the Lord is, is up to pray. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Praise the Lord. If you are there, let heaven hear your voice. I say, praise the Lord. <laughs> Expectation, realization. Anybody expecting anything there today? Expecting a miracle. Expecting healing. Expecting deliverance. Realization will come. At the final, amen, you check up yourself and you will discover that that realization of the healing, of the deliverance, of the breaking of the yoke, of the miracle, it's happened already. I see you giving testimony tonight. You raise up one hand and you lay the other hand but you have the challenge. It's up on hand. Identify the problem. And lay your hand there. And when we mention the name of Jesus, a miracle must happen to you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bring everyone, everyone here, Everyone over there, everyone online, everyone everywhere. To you right now, whatever the challenge, whatever the pain, whatever the affliction, whatever the sickness, Lord, touch them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Every affliction of the enemy. Every evil power operating in every life, I cancel that now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Affliction of the devil, torment of the devil, works of the devil in the head, in the mind, in the spirit, in the soul, walking about. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every sin swollen in the body, any part of the body, touch them now. Remove that swelling in Jesus' name. Long-standing sickness like a mountain. Lord, you have assured us that if I speak to this mountain, to be removed without any doubt in the heart, believing that that mountain will move. Mountain of cancer, come out in Jesus' name. Back problem, tummy problem, kidney problem, lungs, come out in Jesus' name. That blindness, I command. Blindness vanish away. Lord, touch their eyesight now. Give them sight. Open the blind eyes and clear up the dim sight in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, the Lord bring your miracle of hearing right now. And your miracle of speaking right now. Lord, I pray that those who have diabetes, you're in it, you're in it, you're in it. Lord, I pray it comes to an end. At this time, you are healed in Jesus' name. Issue of blood, flow of blood, many months, many years. Dry up now in Jesus' name. Arthritis, be healed. Paralysis, be healed. Broken bones, be healed. Lodge everyone now, everywhere. Touch everyone. Grant everyone their expectation. 
And we pray, Lord, as we have mentioned the name of Jesus, the name above every name. There is realization of miracle, healing, deliverance everywhere right now. Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. It is done. Realization. You've got it. Check up yourself. You've got it right there.